directors on Wednesday, June 19th, 2024 is now called to order. Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This meeting is being recorded for district purposes. It is or may be published in part or in its entirety on the district district's website without the express permission of meeting participants. Roll call, please. Mrs. Fisher? Here. Ms. Bisco? Here. Mrs. Kehoe? Here. Mr. Kovacevic? Here. Mr. Metz? Here. Mrs. Ramasco? Here. Ms. Young? Mr. Zachi? Here. Mr. Carpenter? Here. Eight present. Thank you. Uh, Sunshine Law, please. The Board of School Directors held an executive session on Wednesday, June 19th to discuss personnel matters, matters subject to attorney client privilege and other confidentiality laws, litigation or threatened litigation matters, salary schedule and labor relations. Okay, thank you. Any correspondence? No correspondence. Uh, okay, can I get a motion to accept or correct the minutes of Wednesday, May 18th, meet and discuss meeting, voting, and non-voting, uh, and Wednesday, May 15th, board meeting? I'll make a motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion to accept the treasurer's report dated May 2024. Make a motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, thank you. Any amendments or addendums to today's agenda or approval of agenda? All right, thank you. I believe we have some recognitions today. So with that, uh, if we could do those recognitions, that'd be awesome. It's good to see all of you here. Thank you for coming. Good evening. We're going to begin with the 2023-24 retirees. If you could all please come up, hold your applause till the end and come up and we'll do this all together. Glenn Freed, Amber Jaria Middle School, High School Mathematics teacher, 27 years. We can do the applause if that's, that's fine. It's hard not to. <laughs> Barbara Fries, paraprofessional, three years. Michelle Hoppich, Amber Jaria High School Mathematics teacher, 32 years. Diane Harris, food service worker, 12 years. Mary Lee Hockey, paraprofessional, 10 years. James Leo, custodian, 20 years. Mary Marasco, building secretary, 16 and a half years. David Prusik, paraprofessional, 15 years. Ron Wilson, maintenance, 21 years. Vivian, Vivian Jarostowski, food service worker, 24 years. Congratulations and good luck on your future endeavors.
Congratulations. Students of the month. If you're present, please come forward. High School May Students of the Month, Zoe Elias, 12th grade. Carlise Bird, 11th grade. Taylor Thompson, 10th grade. Charlotte Hill, 9th grade. And get your picture. High School May Effort Awards, Joey Bellinger, 12th grade. Hannah Larimore, 11th grade. Cordell Saunders, 10th grade. Aylan Volash, 9th grade. Middle School My Students of the Month, Jacob Turco, 8th grade, Ari Russi, 7th grade, Adam Dunn, 6th grade. <laughs> Economy Elementary May Student of the Month, Colin Waters, 5th grade. <laughs> Highland Elementary May Student of the Month, Juliana Turner, 5th grade. State Street Elementary, May Student of the Month, Gabriella Shufle, fifth grade. May employee, Dr. Pasquarello, you going to do the employees of the month? The May employee of the month at the high school is Mr. Rogers here. Okay, I'll read this on behalf of Dr. Zupsik. High school faculty and staff would like to recognize Mr. Stephen Rogers for his commitment to the arts and the community. Mr. Rogers in his short time with the district has wholeheartedly integrated himself into existing events such as parades and special holiday events in the district. He has also worked hard to re-institute and host the Beaver County Band Festival. Mr. Rogers is always looking for an opportunity to show our students talents in the best way possible. Thank you for your commitment to the arts. As we know, the arts have a positive impact on our students and community. Congratulations, Mr. Rogers. Okay, middle school, is Mrs. Brond here? Okay, on behalf of Mr. Hurd, Mrs. Brond's dedication to both students and staff is truly exceptional. She consistently goes above and beyond, offering her assistance wherever needed and fostering a supportive and collaborative environment. Her unwavering commitment to encouraging students to achieve their best is evident in her daily interactions and innovative teaching methods. Mrs. Braun's positive influence and tireless efforts make her an invaluable member of our school community, and we are proud to recognize her outstanding contributions. Congratulations, Mrs. Braun. Economy Employee of the Month, Mary Marasco. <laughs> On behalf of Mrs. Galitzis and the entire staff at Economy Elementary, Mary Marasco is Economy's Employee of the Month for the month of May. Mrs. Marasco has served as secretary for over 15 years at Economy Elementary. Mrs. Marasco has made strong connections with students, parents, and staff at Economy. She is dedicated, trustworthy, and self-motivated. Mrs. Marasco is 
always willing to assist when need when a need arises. She has made an outstanding effort making our ESL population and their families feel welcome in our school community. In addition, her secretarial school skills are beyond distinguished. She is willing to take on new projects that require learning new platforms without hesitation. We'd like to again congratulate Mary Morasco, Economy Elementary Employee of the Month. Congratulations. Get your picture. Sorry. Congratulations. Mary. Hmm. Highland Elementary. It's Goldie Wanzak. Is she here, Goldie? Goldie Wanzak is a member of the Highland Elementary School team. She works tirelessly each day to maintain the cleanliness and daily operations of our school building and is very appreciated by students and staff for her responsive attention to these needs. When extra help is needed, she is always willing to lend a helping hand. As a longtime employee of the district, I am happy to recognize Goldie as Employee of the Month for Highland School. We appreciate you and value your dedication to maintaining our building and for your diligent work over the summer to prepare for next school year. Thank you and congratulations again to Goldie on behalf of Mrs. Hall. And State Street Elementary is Mr. Paul Hervatine here. Okay. Mr. Hervatine is a special education teacher who works with students in grades four and five. He adapts the general education lessons to meet the students' IEP goals. Mr. Hervatine does this by designing his lesson plans to fit each individual student's needs for their own personal success. The students, parents, and staff would like to thank Mr. Hervatine for his dedication over the years. Thank you for all that you do, the hours you spend, attention you give, needs that you tend to, knowledge you give, your special way of delivering the lessons, offering guidance, undaunted by much, time you spend planning, effort you make, angles to learning, chances you take. Here's to our teacher, Mr. Hervatine. Each day we learn something new. Today, you are recognized and we salute you. Thank you, Mr. Hervatine, for all the things that you do on a daily basis. Congratulations to Mr. Hervatine on behalf of Mrs. Hoover and the State Street Elementary staff for being the State Street School Employee of the Month for May of 2024. Congratulations. Ambridge Musicals production of The Drowsy Chaperone. Congratulations to the cast and crew for winning four Mancini Awards. Best Scenic Design, Budget 2. Best Costume Design, Budget 2. Best Lighting Design, Budget 2. Best Supporting Actor, Pietro Pucci Adolfo. This was a very good year for the musical cast and crew. Not only did they win four Mancini Awards, but the program was represented with 11 award nominations and seven students were selected as semifinalists this year with three moving into the final round. Let's give them a round of applause. Boys volleyball team. I know Mr. Freed is here. I don't know if any of, of the boys are here this evening, but if you'd like to come up, Mr. Freed. Boys volleyball team. The boys volleyball finished the 2024 season in ninth place in the state PIAA, third place in the district WPIAL, and first place in the section. The team entered the Whippeal playoffs as the fourth seed with an 11 3 overall record. The Bridgers defeated Trinity 3-0 and South Fayette 3-1 in the first two rounds. In the semifinals, Mars, the eventual champions, defeated Ambridge 3-2. Ambridge defeated Thomas Jefferson 3-2 in the consolation match to earn the bronze medal and a spot in the PIAA playoffs. The Bridgers have earned a Whippeal medal 19 times out of the last 22 seasons. The team lost a close match to West Shemokin in the first round of the PIAA playoffs. This was the boys volleyball team's 17th time in the last 18 seasons, earning a berth into the state playoffs. 
three AHS student athletes were selected to the all WPIAL team from votes by the coaches of the other teams. Senior Donovan Bober and junior Carson Molina earned first team honors. Senior Sam Miller was chosen to the second team. There were 10 players on each team. The all state team is to be announced. Congratulations to the boys volleyball team and head coach Glenn Freed and assistant coach Jason Benkowski. Do we have any student scholarship award recipients here this evening? Come on up. Let me see, Trevor. I know you were awarded more than one, so. Walter Buzzy Gradick, 1950s alumni scholarship. Trevor Grabsky. What's your name, baby? William Townsend. Do you remember? Let me see, let me find that. What's your name? William Townsend, Riley Folliker, Kylie Dreyer. Congratulations. Jason DeSantis. Anybody else this evening? We would like to congratulate and say thank you to all the kids that applied and received scholarships. What an impressive group of students we have. Congratulations. Trevor also received the Perfect Attendance Award, I see as well. That's impressive. Trevor, do you know how many days, like throughout your high school, elementary, middle school, high school, how many days you missed altogether? None of your high school days. That's impressive. <laughs> Jason, what else, honey? Perfect attendance too. Jason, do you know how many throughout your your uh, school career? Jason's never missed a day. Wow! Congratulations. Honey. Um, I would just like to add the Beaver County Career and Technology Center 2024 Challenge Program Award Scholarship did go to Jason DeSantis. Not only was he a student there, he was the manager of the school store. And also this year at the CTC, we had our very first fashion show, which Jason was a model in and enamored all of us with his swagger on the runway. So congratulations.
All right, at this time, district residents may come forward to comment on agenda items only. Each person must state their first and last name and address prior to speaking. Each resident will be allowed three minutes and can speak only once. This period for public comment prior to the standing committee reports will be limited to one half hour. Although not required, board members desiring to address questions or concerns may do so after the residents' comments or questions or at the conclusion of the committee reports. There will still be an opportunity for residents to comment on any business relevant to the Amherst Area School District under old and new business at the end of the meeting. Okay, with that, let's move to the committee reports, education and technology, Mrs. Ramasco. Thank you, President Carpenter. Um, I have a few new items for this evening from last week. Um, number seven, technology support agreement. It is recommended to approve a three-year agreement with Communications Consulting Incorporated beginning July 1st, 2024 and ending on June 30th, 2027 for the total cost of $321,750, $107,250 per year broken down in four quarterly payments, pending final review of the solicitor. And number 11, Alternative Education Private Academic Services Agreement. It is recommended to approve the purchase of eight alternative education seats through Class Academy program for the 2024-2025 school year at a cost of $17,500 per seat. And it is furthermore recommended to approve the purchase of four private academic seats for 24-25 school year at a cost of $22,500 per seat. Are there any questions on either of those? Okay, I will make a motion for items one through 11 under education and technology. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Romasco. Second? Second. Okay, thank you. Uh, roll call, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Ms. Fisco? Yes. Ms. Pino? Yes. Mr. Kovacevic? Yes. Mr. Metz? Yes. Mrs. Romasco? Yes. Ms. Young? Mr. Zachi? Uh, yes, one through 10, no one 11. Mr. Carpenter? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, thank you. Finance and budget, Mr. Zachi. Uh, with no new items, I move uh, to adopt numbers one through 10. Motion, please. Okay, thank you. Second? Second. All right, roll please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Ms. Fitzko? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? Yes. Mr. Kovacevic? Yes. Mr. Metz? Yes. Mrs. Romasco? Yes. Mr. Zachi? Yes. Mr. Carpenter? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Building and grounds, Mr. Metz. There is nothing new tonight. I only have one through four. Any discussions? I'd like to make a motion. Approve one through four. Okay, thank you. Second. Second. Thank you. Roll, please. <clears throat> Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Ms. Fitzko? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? Yes. Mr. Kovacevic? Yes. Mr. Metz? Yes. Mrs. Romasco? Yes. Mr. Zachi? Uh, no on one. Yes, two, three, and four. Mr. Carpenter? Yes. Motion carries. All right, athletics, Mrs. Fisher. Thank me. you, uh, Mr. Oh. President. Sorry. sorry, Kathy. I'd like to amend the, uh, amend the agenda this evening for athletics. Uh, and I'd like to read this. It is recommended to purchase two volleyball net system replacements from sports imports at a total cost of $9,695.70. Second. I would I would just like to ask some questions before that happens, Mr. Carpenter, if that's okay. Yes. Um, I see Mr. Freed, Coach Freed is here, so I would like to hear um, was there what there was a change to that and did you recommend a different system? Um uh, so when Mr. Lemons asked me about the net system, I got four quotes for him that I sent to him. Uh, two are from one company and one for each of those others. Um, the pricing on those definitely is different. Um, 
The newest type of system is called a carbon system. They're lightweight and they're the strongest. So I looked up three of those, gave you the bids. And the other one, the one that you have listed here for the 6,000 is an aluminum type of net system. Um, it's about 14 pounds heavier, so it's a little bit heavier on that and not as long lasting as the carbon fiber for that. So my recommendation was for the low, the cheapest carbon fiber one. It is a lifetime guarantee. There are several school districts in the area that have those. I've seen them personally, and they're really the best bet. They are like $3,000 more, but you're not going to need to buy another net system. They're going to last us for as long as we need those. So it is quality. It's a little bit more, all the carbon, a little bit more. The other quotes were 11,000, I think 14,000, somewhere around there. So they're very expensive, but again, they'll last for a long time. So my recommendation was for that. On that. I understand. I, I didn't know. Yeah, I understand the money part of that is, but when you look at it in the long run, they won't, it's a lifetime guarantee on them. Oh, my apologies. I didn't know that. I have a few Thanks. questions. Yeah. That wasn't my understanding. So you didn't recommend this one that's on here? No, no. I recommended the 9,000. Mr. Zatch just said that. Okay. That wasn't my understanding, number one. Number two, I heard Mr. Zatch say two nets. So yeah. that's, that is two nets or yeah. one net? It, it's a, it's, they're two net systems. So there are four poles that come with that. So it's used in the gym for the two courts for both the girls' team, the boys' team, and the phys ed classes. So would this, would this have been the same? Yeah, all, all the quotes that I got were for two net system because both of the two that we have were from when the building was built and they're really becoming really bad and unsafe. I, I have a question. What is, what is from the aluminum perspective? And I'm sorry you're, you're hearing all these questions okay. tonight. Uh, but what is the typical lifespan for an aluminum version? You know, the, the type that we have is not a great aluminum. It's more of a lightweight. And, you know, how long has the school been built? And they're really a couple years past their prime for that. Okay. Aluminum will probably last 15 years, 15, 16 years, somewhere in there. If you take good care of them for those, um, there is a heavier net system, heavier poles. It takes like two players to carry them. That's what we have at the middle school. Those are going to last us. They're, they're old, but they'll still work for a long time. These carbon fiber ones are the next great thing that are going to last, and they're even stronger than the – so they're lightweight, but even stronger than the aluminum. Thank you. Sure. I'll say for – maybe you clarify. From what I read, you said lifetime guarantee of the carbon, but I think there was only a 15 on the aluminum. Yeah, they, again, they, they will last probably, I'd say, 13 to 16 years for that. So 15 years, I could see them doing a recommendation for that. Any other questions? Thank you, sir. Thanks. Appreciate it. Vote to accept the motion or uh, for the amendment. Well, so I think we did it. I, ultimately, this is the, the singular motion on the floor. So it's a, a motion to consider um, the this other option, this $9,000 product for two nets, if I understand that correctly, um, from the provider still listed. I, I do have another question. Dr. Pasquarella, had you understood the um, carbon fiber option to be the recommended choice, would you have objected to that? Well, my understanding was that, and, and you know, I was talking, and I may or may not have been on some of the emails, but in talking with Mr. Lomenza, it was his understanding that, yeah, they listed the ones that are carbon, but the aluminum one was was going to be in his opinion satisfactory would last a long time and that the coach was good with it so that's that was my understanding i mean i'm not going to say for sure that he said uh, per se that he carbon was better but he i definitely asked if he put it to you like this the aluminum one as i understood it from mr lamenza came from the coach as well as an option that could be utilized and in our conversation that was what i took to mean that that one would be satisfactory so at, at any rate Okay. Can I ask a question? Was the warranty discussed at all? Do you recall, Dr. Pascarella? With me? Like on each one, yeah. I don't remember the exact warranty. I just know okay. that they said the aluminum would be lighter weight than the current one that we have because it's heavy and it would last longer because it's aluminum. That's what I remember. Um, I don't remember if it was discussed. It could have been lifetime versus 15 years or whatever. I'm not positive. But that's what it is. But the total cost, Mr. Zachi, 
is not because you did say two systems total cost is not correct not, in, not in the 6400 was also for two also right. but uh, that wasn't clarified but obviously probably wasn't explained either um so at the end i guess we just need to know if that's what goes through is it still sports imports yes same company same company different product and subsequent question, uh, maybe it's for Ms. Amadeo, is, is because phys ed and curriculum-based classes use the system, is there any, is this all expense coming from athletics or is there any other side or budget line items that can be used? Um, when this was brought to my attention, I asked the same question just to confirm and we said that we could split that between athletics and um, the high school. And there's enough yeah. money in this year to do that? Or are we looking at next year? my understanding was it was for next year but next year budget obviously you can't use it till the fall but right i okay. mean this was yeah this was when this was brought to me i was under the as dr pascrella said that the um other aluminum was satisfactory no, so I, that's I was clarifying if we were there. this year with any surplus yeah, or extra could, or next year what well, yeah we're okay with doing it for this year if we can get it in in time great yeah okay What's the new cost? Nine six nine five point seven zero. It's All right. So, uh, new motion is on the table. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passed. Is that for the amendment or the? That item is itself. for the item itself. Okay. Right, I'm yep. 96, 95, 70, correct? Yes. All right, very good. Thank you. Uh, public relations, Ms. Fitzko? I have nothing under public relations this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Stirring in rules, Mrs. Kehoe. I'd like to move for the adoption of item number one as presented. Second. Any discussion? Roll, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Ms. Fitzko? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? Yes. Mr. Kovacevic? Yes. Mr. Metz? Yes. Mrs. Romasco? Yes. Mr. Zachi? Yes. Mr. Carpenter? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, thank you. Legislation, Ms. Fitzko? Uh, with no new items this evening, I'd like to make a motion to approve item number one. Okay, thank you. Second? Second. Roll, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Ms. Fitzko? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? Yes. Mr. Kovacevic? Yes. Mr. Metz? Yes. Mrs. Romasco? Yes. Mr. Zachi? Yes. Mr. Carpenter? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, thank you. Salary schedule and labor relations. Thanks, Mr. Thank you. Uh, nothing for this, this week. Uh, I will be reading for uh, Mrs. Young. Very good. Thank you. Personnel then. Uh, in addition to last week's items, uh, technology support technician, it is recommended to approve Christian Morrison as technology support technician at a prorated salary of 41,000 as per the terms of the employment agreement. The employee agreement is for a three year term. Uncompensated leave, it is recommended to ratify employee number 3001 taking four Days, unpaid days, effective April 24th, April 26th, May 10th, and May 13th, 2024. Unpaid leave is only approved once during an employee's tenure. Retirement. It is recommended to approve the resignation due to the retirement of Mary Marasco from her position as Economy Elementary Building Secretary, effective July 31st, 2024, with regret. Resignation. It is, res it is recommended to approve the resignation of Ron L. Hurd from his position of Ambridge Area Middle School Principal, effective June 30th, 2024, with regret. Resignation. It is recommended to approve the resignation of Lydia Babel from her position as fourth grade teacher at State Street Elementary, effective June 18th, 2024, with regret. The district reserves the right to retain the employee for 60 days statutory period or until relieved of duties, whichever occurs first. Resignation. It is recommended to approve the resignation of Mel Melanie Pearlberg from her position as Ambridge Area Middle School ELA teacher, all grade levels, effective June 18, 2024, with regret. 
the district reserves the right to retain the employee for 60 days statutory period or until relieved of duties, whichever occurs first. Do I have a motion? Second. I have a question on seven, please. Um, are we, do we not hold administrators for 60 or is this just one of those where we're just not doing that? I see the teachers. Uh, the, re the reason at this given point that uh, we were not going to hold the principals. We're going to be advertising, and if you went the 60 days, it would barely Just start the time the of year. Basically, time of year is a lot to do with. It. Okay. I have a question as well. Um, I remember. I don't remember exactly when it was. Maybe summertime. We talked about exit interviews for resignations. Are we doing those? And if so, who is that with? I know that there. When you when you exit, I don't think there's a I think there was a discussion about it. I don't think there was anything finalized as to what exactly that would be. I do know that people when they leave turn their materials in at Mary Jo City. OK, so there's no formal exit interviews any at all. That's what like questions. Correct, there was a discussion on that. There's no formal exact question. Okay, thank you. Um, so, Mr. Kovacevic, we heard a uh, motion from one to nine. Is that right? Correct. Okay, second. Second. Roll, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Ms. Fitzko? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? Yes. Mr. Kovacevic? Yes. Mr. Metz? Yes. Mrs. Romasco? Yes. Mr. Zachi? Yes. Mr. Carpenter? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, thank you. Uh, I would just like to thank uh, everybody for coming tonight and give another congratulations for all the uh, attendees that were retirees. Uh, congratulations and best of luck in the future and for all the uh, awards and, and nominees and recognitions that we had tonight. Just again, do an outstanding job and, and I can tell you that I and I believe we as a collective board administration certainly appreciate you so thank you for that and with that i will defer to our esteemed solicitor megan turnbull which always makes me feel like i should say something esteemed when i get to this point of of the meeting i will share that i am presenting um, tomorrow at the san francis symposium which is a collaboration between the university of pittsburgh uh, school of Education and the law school. So if I get any great materials, I will be happy to bring those back to the district. Um, and next week is the uh, Pennsylvania School Boards Association Solicitor um, Conference up in State College, and I'm presenting there on solicitor ethics. So again, I will bring some materials back and hopefully some good ideas. Um, and if anyone wants a copy of those materials, please let me know and I'm happy to share them. I believe that we will be, um, it would be appropriate to adjourn to executive session at the end of the meeting if you want, wish to continue discussions about personnel matters and matters subject to attorney client privilege. We just need to make a motion to do so. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dr. Pascarella. No, I just echo what uh, you had said. Congratulations to all the students who were recognized today and a big thank you to all of those folks who are retiring. I wish them nothing but happiness and health and thank them for all that they've done. Uh, for our school system. Okay, thank you. Uh, now it is time for uh, old and new business. Any district resident who desires to comment on any business relevant to the Ambridge Area School District should now come forward. Each person must state their first and last name and address prior to speaking. Each person will be allowed three minutes and can speak only once. Good evening, everybody. Uh, um, those of you that know, I am, I've coached in this and been a uh, lifelong resident of the Ambridge Area School District for over 33 years. Uh, my name is Dallas Duncan. I um, live in Oberlin Township. Um, I'm here tonight in another capacity. I'm fading in and out here. I'm not used to using a mic. Um, why I'm here tonight is I was thinking about how we can improve our, our school district. And one of the things that I, everybody's been talking about is how to improve kids and faculty and staff's mental health. Um, recently, my goal is I have had a 
young enough golden retriever that I've been training since she was three months old. Um, I wanted to train her to give back to the community as well as be a family pet. And out of the three golden retrievers that I had, she is the one that's the most loving and um, is more, more people oriented than any other animal that I've ever had. Um, she comes up and uh, makes everybody smile when she's, you know, just by having her presence walking in the building, people's faces change, people's smiles turn upside down, and there's a different presence when she comes in the building. Um, there's a way that our pet owners know what I'm talking about, but there's been studies done uh, that it helps with students' anxiety, it helps with students who have PTSD, who are dealing with loss, who have tough family situations, it helps them dealing with life, not only just the students, but the faculty and the staff also, because everybody asks me, when, when is my dog coming back? Um, right now, she has completed her canine good citizens test, she's had a physical, she's had all her shots. Um, she, I've given all this information to my subsec that is supposed to be on your agenda in July, but I came tonight to do this pitch and I wanted to give myself ample time to do this so that I had a chance to do that. Hope Hill right now has two, um, two dogs that are in their building to help with their students. Freedom has one. I'm going to put one measure on the map and, and there's one for the good. Everybody wants to have mental health. And this is one way of doing it. Um, and she's right in the middle right now of, of taking her therapy dog test, which is quite stringent where they have to sit for two minutes, they have to lay for five minutes. They're not allowed to touch certain things. It's very stringent. I'm going through the Misty Pines training facility. She's been training since she's been three months old. And she has the right disposition to be a therapy dog and an emotional support dog. And I wanna give back to the community that I have grown up in and I think this is a great opportunity that we have to improve the image of Ambridge, our school district, our faculty, our staff, and I'd like the opportunity to possibly do that. All the information Ms. Supsik has copied and is, we will be sending you, it's supposed to be in the presentation in July. It includes a picture of her with her blue ribbon. She's getting a certificate for passing her canine good citizens. She will continue to train um, but on this. The only thing I'd ask is maybe in the future that help out with her physical and her shots if she, if you decide this is the, the route you want to go. But I think this is an important one because everybody's talking about mental health and the kids are the ones that are suffering. And even the adults were having a tough time in life and nothing cheers us up more than having somebody to pet that doesn't judge you or having somebody that you have a student struggling in reading. So if you bring up, a, you know, have this student read to the dog there's no judgment. They're just happy they're there. So thank you. I, I want the, the opportunity to do that. But thank you very much for your time. I appreciate right. it. Thank you, appreciate thank you Denise. Okay, with that, is there a motion to adjourn to executive session? So moved. Okay, second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you.